What's going on guys? Thanks again for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be working on this beautiful Mercedes-Benz S500. It's coming in for paint protection film. So we're going to show you our process of how we install paint protection film on a Mercedes-Benz. It's all coming up next. So we're going to start with the hood. Hood is primarily the, the biggest piece of, of film that we use. So right here, this is a 60 inch uh, wide roll that we're using. And the length of this was about 74 inches. So there's a lot of material involved on just the hood. So right now as a geo over there is helping me prep the, the edges so that when I do this hand cut, I'm gonna wrap all the edges underneath and it's gonna be pretty seamless. That's what you want on a white uh, color vehicle. You don't want that much seam because as time goes by, it's gonna start collecting uh, dust and all that stuff and dirt. All right, so we're gonna prepare the edges right here with straight alcohol. And Gio was wiping down all my edges here so it's nice and clean. So like that, when I took the film underneath, it actually pretty much bonds and, and closes and that edge is pretty much sealed when it's wrapped underneath. Ready, Gio? Ready. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, got my little keg in here. We have water and baby shampoo. That's usually the slip that I like. So this mixture pretty much makes me move my film around so I could move it, stretch it. And then once I uh, squeegee it down, this is a pressure sensitive glue. So once I squeegee the film down, it bonds to the to the paint. But right now we're gonna clay it. Clay pretty much removes contamination that's on the paint. And this way the paint is, you know, free of contamination and my film is gonna lock in something that's pretty much clean. All right, so next up is the bumper. The bumper is the area that's gonna get the most damage from rock chips, uh, you name it. Everything that's out in the road is gonna land here first. So definitely, 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 you wanna protect it with paint protection film. Like I said, we already wrapped the hood. Now we're moving on to the bumper. We got the car up on the lift. So it's not below, and close to the ground where you know the potential of contamination is much, much higher. So here I can work it more comfortably and you know with less contamination. So I already got one of my guys here is gonna help me do the transportation from the table onto the, the actual um, bumper. So this is the new S500 2022 bumper. Here we go. All right, looks like it's all falling in place. So it's a good pattern from our core team and Eastman. Good job guys, let's see how well this thing fits. Now it is a two piece. I already did the, the first piece which is up here. And I extended um, the top edge so that I could uh, wrap it where it meets the engine. So like that you don't see the seam.
again on, in the beginning of the video we talked about how you waited a long time and the last thing you want is for some type of damage to happen to your beautiful brand new car so the one thing that i do recommend always to to any vehicle is paint protection film so paint protection film can be used in a lot of areas of the vehicle some people do the full car wrap others opt in for the full front end this one we did our full front end package which is the one that we sell the most consists of the mirrors we do the fenders we do the bumper the headlights the hood why i recommend this option because it's just a matter of time when you're going to get that first rock chip that's going to damage the either the bumper your very expensive headlight which costs a lot to repair and replace so definitely wrap the headlights too if it misses the headlight it could jump and potentially hit this part of the hood if it misses the hood it could potentially jump and do this front piece of the fender so when it comes to wrapping white cars with paint protection film i would never ever suggest for you guys to do a partial a partial a paint protection film it just goes on almost like a quarter and then about a quarter of the fender on white paint you're definitely you're definitely going to see that line and that edge so i don't recommend for you guys to do that as a matter of fact even when i do my full front ends i extend everything that i can uh, the hoods the fenders where it meets the engine where it meets the wheel well all of those areas get tucked in and wrapped because you don't want uh, that edge to be shown because as time goes by dirt accumulates in those edges and you're going to start seeing that dirt build up especially when you're doing a beautiful color like this diamond white metallic s500 when we were done with the paint protection film the guys moved on to ceramic coating we did ceramic coating on the rest of the vehicle and we also did window tinting it's all done in house in miami florida i am your number one choice when it comes to paint protection film window tints or ceramic coating so if you are in our zip code in our area give us a call so if you like this type of content don't forget to watch this video here or this video right here and it's pretty much the same topic on another type of vehicle so i'll see you guys next time